Okay, let's take a look at how we detect FS commands. We've got a flash object here inside Autoplay Media Studio. And I'm going to double click on it. And you'll notice that there's an event handler here called OnFSCommand. Now this is essentially how we detect FS commands inside Autoplay Media Studio. And it's done automatically. Whenever an FS command is fired from a flash movie, the uh, Autoplay Media Studio uh, application will automatically detect that an FS command has been fired. Now I should also mention which I didn't mention in the previous tutorial, that you can also create FS commands using third-party tools such as uh, Swish and uh, other type of Flash tools other than Macromedia Flash, although we're focusing on Macromedia Flash here. So it would still be created in the same way, but basically um, it's just a, a different piece of software. But the syntax is always the same. It's just the FS command and then the name or the name of the argument. Okay, so now that I've cleared that up, let's get back to what we were discussing here, which is the um, detection of FS commands. So we've got this on FS command area here and you'll notice that there's a, a couple of built-in event variables here. The string FS command and the string EFS args. Okay, so in this particular case EFS command, I'll just paste this down here, that corresponds to the name of our FS command. So for example in Flash where we typed FS command and then we had added a name and then an argument, the name portion here corresponds to the EFS command. So in this particular FS command, EFS command would equal name, okay? And in this particular case, EFS args refers to the argument portion. So in our example here, just by way of illustration, EFS args would actually equal argument, okay? If I change this first portion to say label, then our EFS command would be label. And if I change the second portion to be text, our EFS args portion would be text. Okay, so they correspond to that portion of the FS command. So in other words, whenever a flash movie that we have in our autoplay application fires an FS command, this event handler is triggered, the on FS command event handler. And whatever actions are contained in this area are going to be triggered. Okay, so in this particular case, we didn't put any actions in there. We're just sort of illustrating what's going on here. But in our prior example, we had actually tested with an if statement. Let's take a look at that now. For example, if we had our fs command, I'm just going to leave it up there as an example, um, label text. If we were trying to test to what, see whether the name was label, we would actually set up an if statement where we said if efs command equals label then and we would put it in the end statement and anything that we put in the middle portion here would be triggered okay and likewise if we wanted to test to see if the argument was text we would actually say if efs args equals text then and in this particular case um, any actions contained down here would be triggered okay so that's the 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 simple way of looking at it that's how it's detected so an FS command automatically fires um, this event handler the on FS command event handler and it automatically triggers whatever actions are contained in this area so if you have for example a flash movie with an FS command every 10 frames then in your autoplay media studio application this on FS command event handler is automatically going to fire every 10 frames okay so you will stack these if statements to detect what your FS commands are trying to say to your autoplay media studio application and then basically trigger a series of actions based upon that and you can put anything in between these if statements here. You can put functions, actions, tables, and so forth. Anything you like. Okay, so it's quite powerful. You can extend this idea as far as you need to. So that's how we detect FS commands in our Autoplay Media Studio applications and how we trigger events based upon detecting those FS commands. And we'll go on to the next lesson now.